again this bulletin with a focus on the university's academic staff union that had threatened to go on strike today over the implementation of the collective bargaining agreement. Wasu Secretary General uh, Constantine Wasonga called for a crisis meeting today with the National Executive Council members to make a final decision over the planned strike, even as uh, Education Cabinet Secretary Fred Metiangi urged the lecturers not to resort to industrial action. In March of this year, the respective uh, trade unions signed the CBA with the government, reaching a 17.5% pay increase deal that ended the 54-day strike that had paralyzed learning in all public universities, at least 33 public universities and their constituent colleges across uh, the country with more than 500,000 students will be affected should the lecturers make good their threat to down their tools. Let's now bring in our reporter, Mark Namaswa, who has closely uh, been following this latest developments on the lecturers' strike and university staff in general. Mark, good afternoon. What is the fate of the strike? Uh, currently, Akisa, we are at the Chancellor's Court, the University of Nairobi main campus. Now, we accompanied uh, the lecturers as well as university staff as they held their demos across uh, the city starting from uh, the main graduation square. Right now, we are still at the Chancellor's Court and uh, from behind I can hear noises. Uh, initially, officials of Uwasu as well as Kusu as well as Kudeha had gone up to the Chancellor's office in order to collect him so that they can head together to the Ministry of uh, Education officers at Jogo House. But at the moment, uh, they are still holed up in the meeting. I can hear a few uh, solidarity noises, uh, academic solidarity noises at the back. But uh, as it stands now, we are still waiting for feedback uh, coming from the National Executive Council, as well as uh, what the officials have uh, of Uwasu, Kusu, and Kudeya have gone to uh, deliberate with the, uh, with the Vice Chancellor. But right now, I'm joined by an official of the Kenya University Staff Union. Uh, Mr. Esau Odwar to elaborate on a few issues that they are gunning for in today's industrial action. Uh, kindly tell us, what are you looking for today? Thank you very much. Uh, actually, what is happening is that uh, there's a CBA which we had signed. And this CBA goes back to the year 2013, 2014, 2014, 2015, 2015, 2016, 2016, 2017. This CBA was signed and mutually agreed. It was registered, and now we were just waiting for our, for our money. All the universities of this republic. So what happened is that they told us, according to the agreement we signed, that this money is going to be paid on or before 30th of, 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 Ju of, of, of June. And up to now, that money has not been paid. So that's why we said uh, we gave them up to yesterday for the money to be paid. But in the morning, actually, the money was not paid. So that's why we've decided to go on in an industrial, uh, industrial action so that uh, this money is paid. We are not going to, back, to go back to work until this money is paid in total. Uh, someone will say that uh, it's uh, too soon, between 30th of June and now, to go in industrial action. And uh, we understand that some of your officials are still holed up in meetings and deliberations with the concerned authorities to come to an amicable conclusion. Why this fast? No, actually, there's no negotiation again. We are not negotiating because this uh, CBA was signed and agreed. So since it was, uh, it was signed and agreed, we were just waiting for our packs. So the rumors has it, you know, in the papers, in the media, everywhere, that uh, Matiang has released $4.9 billion. But actually, we have not seen the money. And also, that's not what we had agreed. What we had agreed is that this $10 billion to be paid in total. So we are not negotiating anymore. We are just consulting to, to see if the money has been wired into our accounts. That's the only thing. <laughs> now that you have started industrial action, what is your plan? What do you, as officials of uh, university staff, what have you been telling your members on a day-to-day uh, basis? Now, what we've agreed is that uh, now the leadership of the university staff, the entire country, is, uh, is under the union. So we've told our members to come every morning to report at the Chancellor's Court so that we start our, our, you know, asking for our money. So every day it will continue like that until the money is paid. We are not going to relent. Yeah. Uh, speaking of percentages, what are the percentages that you are looking for? What is uh, the figure that you expect the lowest honor in the university staff to get after this CBA has been fully implemented? Actually, the, what we had, we had signed 
was uh, 17, slightly more than 17% on uh, basic pay and uh, 3 point something, 3.35 uh, housing allowance. So that is what we, we, is going to be paid across to the entire uh, members of the university. Uh, in this ongoing uh, debate or this ongoing uh, uh, issues concerning you asking for pay increase, we've had Masaimara University mentioned from time to time. Why are you using it as a benchmark? What is it about no, the university? What happened with the Masaimara is that uh, what in the, in the CBA which, uh, which was paid, they were paid more on housing allowance. But for the CBA, everything is the same. So that's why people are saying them they were paid more on house allowance. So this time, even according to this, they are not, they are not cut for because they had already been paid. Yeah. Thank you very much for your time and the insights. Now, as we speak, we have three main unions that are participating in the current ongoing uh, industrial action involving university staff. We have uh, Kenya University Staff Union, we have Kudeha, and we have Owasu. So as it stands, uh, the scale might uh, get even, or the industrial action might get even more severe because it does not only involve one union. It is a co collection of unions that are participating in the ongoing strike. Back to you at the studio.